Rom Collector. All right, welcome to the Rom Collector Retro Capsule channel here where I do a lot of retro playback on some games that I stream and I do some help um, help instructional videos I guess you can call these where I kind of show you how to use some of the applications that you see in front of you once you homebrew your Wii if you homebrew your Wii you'll be able to have all this stuff that I have and uh, most people homebrew their Wii is pretty easy and it's pretty efficient where you can have a lot of stuff but today what we're gonna work is on getting covers for the USB loader GX yeah, it's a simple procedure it's very simple I'll show you what I'm talking about what I mean by game covers and then we're gonna go ahead and uh, show you how to first step you gotta take this is the second step but I'm gonna show you it first because it's the coolest step and it's the easiest uh, so you can see I have all the games already I have all my Wii games and I have all my uh, GameCube games they already have a little picture in them and they have when well, you know when you click on them one the same here shows you that the little music and stuff shows you that and you know, the GameCube one same thing Mario Sunshine Star, Star Fox so these those images and the game cover the actual game cover images Super Mario Galaxy are the ones that you will be getting okay so all you have to do is if you just got the game or you just downloaded the games or you just added the games to your hard drive or your or your SD card uh, normally the first thing you have to do is you will load it up and instead of seeing what you're seeing in there you will see maybe some some images of some covers and then you see a bunch of question marks like that I say we question mark and and that's what we're trying to get we're trying to eliminate that and get this get images and sounds so all you have to do is right there we have a bunch of question marks on this screen you just simply press one once you press one it's going to tell you game covers download you have you click everything there once you click ok it tells me i have no files missing because i have one i have everything and one that could end it's not connected to the internet but it will tell you once you click yes it'll tell you would you like me to use it you, it'll say you have this many missing you will say would you like me to use the internet you just press yes and then you'll see like a little time frame you know like a bar that fills up once it fills up you're done you'll see that sometimes it could take a while depending on how many games you have and my one terabyte that has um hard drive that has 652 game it took a long time actually what I do now is I have everything saved in files because it's just images and sound files so if you can save those and maybe if you, tr if you do like me and you transfer them from Wii to Wii you can save time but if not just use the internet but to be able to use the internet you have to make sure your Wii is connected to it so now we're going to do that step I mean, we're not gonna do the whole complete step because my Wii's already connected to the internet, or and I already have a setting for it. But I'll show you what you have to do at your home or your location, wherever you are. Once you're in the Wii menu here, the main menu, you will go to Wii Options. Once you're in Wii Options, your Wii Settings. Once you're in the Settings, you go to the next one, number two, near the bottom. Then you go Internet. Then once your internet, you go to connection setting, and as you can see, mine is already wireless. But I'm gonna show you how to do it. You go there. You can pick any other one to three, but I chose two because one is already set up. So you pick one or two and press wireless connection. And once it does that, you will reach search access point, just like a, just like a laptop, not like, well, maybe a laptop or an iPad or. Something you have to connect to the Wi-Fi. Simple. 
so it says okay found some connections let's say yours is this one you will pick it and it will ask you do you want to save the settings and then you say okay and then it will be and then it will say okay do you want to start connection test so once you do the connection test sometimes this could take a while for some some wees are slow for some reason their internet access is kind of slow sometimes so this could take a minute but since i have no wi-fi that wasn't even my wi-fi it says error code but if it was your if it was your wi-fi and that was you, know, you put your password and, and everything and then it would say uh connection was successfully connected and then it was saying would you like to update and that's the most important thing you never want to update once you have a homebrew we you whatever you do you usually click update or nothing you don't want to update anything so once it pops up do you want to update you would say no it will say connection was successful this and this and that would you like to update you say no okay and that's it once you say no to that you have um you be like me you have a wireless connection already set so just make sure you have your Wi-Fi on and uh, the we would the we would um, know that um, that you're online if you want to check like what little bar like a little like you want to check with like a little internet bar and make sure you're connected to the internet you can go to your homebrew channel and your homebrew channel over here in this corner will have a little like a little um, Wi-Fi connection signal bar so you can just come here you can look there you'll be like okay I'm connected to the internet now I can go back to the USB loader you can do it through here or you can do it through your main screen the homebrew channel is just it's um, it's a it's like a desktop for a computer that's where all the applications are set so once you come back here you should be able to just press one and then click and click OK and then you go on from there all right guys I hope this video was a little helpful maybe finding all your covers for your for your um, for your Wii your modded Wii like mine I'll make one one of these days I'll make a video showing all the all the games I have but for now I appreciate the um, the watching the video if you have any comment if you have any questions please let me know rom collector on instagram rom collector on twitter rom collector on twitch i do stream sometimes and i'll be posting some of my streams soon that i'll be playing either mk online or just going back to the retro times and this we have a lot of stuff so i'll be bringing out more more entertainment for you guys if you guys like it please leave a like and follow